Hey, good morning. Another uh, another update for you guys. It's the day after Christmas. I hope Santa Claus brought about everybody everything they wanted. Uh, everybody knows that Santa Claus brought you what you deserve since we know how that works. <clears throat> Just wanted to reach out, say hello, say good morning. Don't really have a message or theme this morning. I've been listening to a lot of uh, Grant Cardone and Dean, Dean Groziosi and uh, different messages just to try to you know re reflect on 2018 and get pumped up for 2019 uh, really uh, if, if I had to say man you know momentum for us kind of picked up uh, in November and here in December and we're really excited about what January kind of holds because we know that the population and the people that we deal with they all wait until after the holidays uh, and it's a little frustrating for business owners because, you know, we're, we're going 100 mile an hour every day and we're ready to get started. But our our customers or our prospects, they all say, oh, I'll just get, you know, I'll get started after the new year. Uh, and I guess that that's kind of a, a theme across all industries. I'm kind of curious if anybody has anything to say about that in, uh, in your experiences. How do you get people... Uh, to, to conduct business between uh, December 21st and uh, December 31st, <clears throat> or 22nd rather, I'm sorry, December 22nd through December uh, 31st. How do you uh, how do you keep a motivator? How do you keep going? Uh, that That's a question I, I asked. I seen uh, Grant Cardone posted on there, he was doing a, a $1.5 billion deal on Christmas day. Oh man, I'm thinking, well, who do I need to hang out with to be doing business like that on a holiday? That'd be fantastic. Um, but yeah, just uh, here we are in this weird, uh, weird time frame in between the holidays, trying to get after it, get get things done. I got phone calls to make. There's a couple of people I actually did reach out to yesterday, and they had to remind me that it was Christmas. And all you can do is say, yeah, uh, you know, understood. Even though they reached out to me with our advertising our facebook ads uh on christmas day i guess it's a no-no i can't reach out to them just odd strange let's see what i got going on today so i'm gonna make phone calls today uh probably 10 phone calls following up with the deals we sent out uh, so we sent contracts out i'm gonna see where we stand with that see if, if they got counter offers or anything like that uh, I'm going to make some phone calls, set up some appointments for hopefully by the end of the week. Uh, we got to go do our punch out for our house that you guys have seen us do there in Dallas, the um, the Wimden house. Uh, talking to our GC on that. Um, and then probably try to make, well, I'm going to do my 25 calls, but I'm going to try to get some more, uh, some more business. A huge increase in Facebook activity. I guess people are home from work. Uh, so right now is a great time to to push your ads just for people out there that are trying to strategize on when to get the message out right now people are home so I think getting your message in front of them while they're bored and not doing anything right now is a good time I uh, just paid for some more advertising some marketing we're gonna we're gonna switch it up uh, we're gonna focus on doing uh, some some automations and chatbots I'm gonna see how that works I'm uh, going to spend a little bit more money than uh, that we're than we've budgeted uh, this for this month to see a new strategy. Uh, you hear all the gurus, everybody talk about how you have to diversify your marketing efforts. Uh, so we got cold calling, we got Facebook marketing, uh, we got letter mail, and then and then I'm going to try these automated chatbots, which seem to be kind of a kind of a new untapped strategy that you know people are claiming is the greatest latest and greatest and we're going to check it out uh they hooked me on it so I, i'm a big believer if, if advertising and marketing works works on me as a consumer I, I assume that it would it would also work for my business and and my strategy as well um pick pick up your activity make 2018 the end of 2018 set yourself up for success have stuff in the pipeline make sure you have uh deals flowing in I think we have, I'm setting on one guy who has three properties. I mean, that, wow, what a great, what a, what a grand slam this can be if I can turn this around, right? Um, I have two, three more uh, leads I, I got to follow up with today uh, that reached out over the weekend or reached out over the holiday season. I'm going to reach out to them. So that's one, two, three, six potential deals in the pipeline, seven 
forgot about number seven. Uh, Mr. A gentleman that wanted to do some land development with us reached out about a property in Wichita Falls and wants me to move that. We'll probably put an offer in today for that. So I got seven deals in my pipeline that I've written contracts for that that we need to go see houses on and we are filling up our our inventory pipeline so then you know at the start of january everybody who's been excited uh to uh to to get started after the holiday we're going to be ready for them reflecting back on the statement that i made earlier uh on the influx of activity how crazy is it that november december has been kind of an uptick in activity now that i think about it uh, and, and i've said it before i think a lot of our investor uh, partners probably was trying to get out of paying taxes maybe Pay, not paying all their taxes but they were trying to find a tax shelter so maybe they were they were putting their money in there maybe that's that sounds about right why did they wait till two months before uh, the end of the year before they started making aggressive moves that makes sense so there's many different reasons uh, just wanted to get on here I had a couple of minutes before I went into the bank uh, to take care of some things this morning. I already got my oil changed. I already went to uh, the store to grab some, some groceries for the rest of the week. Being efficient, being effective, taking, you know, making the most out of my time. Remember how I posted about that. Uh, always try to do the most while you're out uh, so you can be focused when you're, when you're rocking, rocking, your, rocking your business, whether it's phone calls, get rid of those distractions, stay focused. Have a happy new year. Anybody who knows me knows that New Year's is my favorite holiday. Fresh start. I try to visit a new city every uh, every year. That's kind of my bucket list of things that I enjoy doing. And I'm excited about this year. I, um, I'm in Dallas-Fort Worth, so I don't really travel too far, or at least I've been too busy to travel too far. So I haven't picked a city just yet uh, that I want to go see or travel to. Uh, maybe, maybe New Orleans It's close enough. Uh, but I like to I like to be in a new city every year uh, to start the new year. That's kind of my thing. I picked that up a long time ago while I was still in uh, the military. Uh, one of my mentors, I kind of took it from her. She was really big on seeing a new place, starting in a new place, a fresh start. So happy new year. I hope Santa was good to everybody. Uh, miss you guys. Uh, for those that I don't get to talk to every day, Reach out to me. You know I'm, I'm always available via text message, phone call. Uh, I don't care. Messenger, email, doesn't matter. Direct messages. Send me stuff. I'm happy to help. Do not, do not, do not do this alone. You are not alone. There's other entrepreneurs out there that want to support you and help you. Million Dollar Handshakes. I've been posting podcasts. You check that out. Uh, posting videos. Share my stuff. I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, this helps me. Helps you. Helps us. Let's go make some money. 2019 is going to be a good one. I'll talk to you guys soon.